All right, everyone. So I am here today with two more of my wonderful friends from Florida. This um, this is one of my friends that I had at when I was a principal down in Florida. And can you introduce yourself, sir? What is your name? Uh, my name is Enrique Ramos. Enrique Ramos. And how old are you, Enrique? Um, 13. You're 13. And what grade are you in? Seventh grade. You're in seventh grade. Where do you go to school? Uh, is that the middle school. Middle yeah. school. What is, What's uh, the name uh, of your school? Miss UCP. UCP. And who's your new principal? I heard you have a new principal. Chris Brownie. Mr. Brownie. Yeah. Is he doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm really happy for him. I talk to him all the time. So he keeps me updated on how you guys are doing. So tell me, what is your favorite thing about school, Enrique? Uh, I like math and science. You like math and science? Yeah. And what do you like about math? Is it just, is it fun to do? Is it easy for you? What do, what do you like about math? Say it again. It was fun. It's fun, yeah. And what do you like about science? What do you get to do in science? Uh, it's just about solid and liquid and gas. Yeah. So mm -hmm. do you get to do experiments in science? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like about your teachers? Who's your teacher this year? Uh, Mrs. Miss Fortuna and Miss Um Smith. Yeah. What do you like about your teachers? Uh, they're. They're amazing teachers. They're amazing teachers. What makes them amazing teachers? Do you know what makes them amazing? Um, because they are around love UCP. Yeah. What other things do you like about UCP? You've been going there for a long time, haven't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you have. What do you <laughs> like about UCP? Uh, I got lunch. Yeah, you like lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else do you like about UCP? Uh, me doing girls club. Okay, that's cool. Well, I, you know, it is so. What, what do you think you could tell someone who's becoming a teacher? Could you give them a piece of advice? What would you tell someone who's becoming a teacher? Uh, to be, to be a good teacher. Yeah. How do you prefer to learn? Do you like to listen to a teacher or do you like to do um, something that they are teaching you? Uh, learning. Yeah. So do you like to listen or do you like to do it? Oh, listen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes listen and sometimes do it. Do you think you like to do a little bit of both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. What are you reading right now in school? Um, I mean, time jumpers. Time jumpers in school. Can you tell me a little what's what's it about? I haven't read that one. Uh, there's a Chase and Ava. Okay. And what do they do? Uh, they go to the flea market. Okay. And what happens? Um. There's uh, one more left in money. Okay. That sounds really interesting. Are there other things you do at school? Do you do anything? Uh, I know you used to do Pales Kids a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What do you do now at school? Uh, like science. You like science? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's awesome. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I'm going to be an astronaut. You're going to be an astronaut. I think that's awesome. Where are you going to go to college? I'm going. I'm going to the the UCF. You're going to go to UCF. I, of course, because it's the best school, right? Absolutely. Well, Enrique, I am so glad I got to talk to you. I can't believe how big you are, man. You're. I mean, you're you're a young man now. That, that just amazes me. I have videos of you from when you were little and you were playing with uh with uh, Mr. Matt at UCF way long. Do you remember that a long, long time ago playing with Mr. Matt? Yeah. And using the robot? Yeah, the oh, stash. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah. Dash, that's right. Yep. I still have videos of you playing da with Dash a long time ago. That's so cool. Well, thank you very much, Enrique, for talking with me. I appreciate it. Nice talking to you. Yes, talk to you. It's good talking to you. Mom, can I talk to you for a few minutes too? You can go play Xbox now. You can go play. Yeah. You, oh, do you want to stay here? Yeah. Okay, you can stay here. No worries. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> your dog's name. Hey, oh, so there's still, I still have my dogs. I still have Brady. Do you remember when I used to bring my dog to school? There's yeah. Brady, and I have a new one now. Do you want to come say hi? Uh, sure. I don't know if she wants to come say hi. I have a new little puppy. Her name is Ellie. So now I have two dogs, but Brady's a big boy now. He's big uh -huh. and tough and tough. I like Tom Brady. Yeah. They're so cute. I see them on Facebook all the time. They're just so adorable. <laughs> they are. They're getting really big. They're so big. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. All right, mom. So tell me a little bit about my friend here, Mr. Enrique. Well, um, he gave you all the stats. So being 13 and in seventh grade, he he's always willing to learn. And I think that helps immensely um, from a parent point of view. You know, we're always worried about um, grades and stuff like that. Yeah. But knowing what I know of him as long as he is progressing I don't care how slow it is as long as there's an interest to learn and as long as I am seeing progress we're good to go that's awesome. um I try not to I try not to focus on the grades because I know they're they'll they'll never be where you know if I, if I compare them to a typically developing child um because I do have uh, my older son mm -hmm. I try to out of my head because it'll bring me down if I focus on that yeah um but I see his enthusiasm I see his willingness to do the work mm -hmm. um and he has progressed a lot in the sense of uh checking his work um oh, or yeah. allowing for me yes go play xbox <laughs> allowing me to um to tell him hey we're gonna bye, redo buddy, this Good job, bye man. buddy bye <laughs> uh before he used to get really frustrated I told him that there was something wrong that we needed to 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 you know redo yeah but nowadays he's much more open um you know to me correcting him and saying hey we're gonna try this again or e even like writing handwriting um he knows that there's a certain expectation of of how he is supposed to write um, mm -hmm. and i think he with you know he, even i see him erasing his own letters um so I am very um how do you say encouraged yeah um you know where he is right now that's great um so my students have never you know they hear a little bit about what I used to do in Florida and where I worked but from a parent perspective um I know you've had in McGay at UCP for all since he was, he was three since he was three and what can you talk a little bit about UCP and what it stands for and why you chose that for Enrique correct um so it's a uh, united cerebral palsy and I believe originally it was started for children with um you know cerebral palsy but eventually I think uh, they allowed kids with disabilities um, when I first got started on this journey to figure out which school to send them to, I knew I wanted him in an environment that was not just for kids with disabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to school, uh, you know, my community uh, schools, and they had programs that were just for kids with disabilities. And I felt that Enrique could learn um, only behaviors. So I wanted him in an environment that was more um, like the real, you know, kids yeah. and abilities. Uh, because I felt that he could, you know, learn both good and bad from both. Um, sure. I cannot uh, stop the world for him. So he has to learn to, you know, to to deal with all sorts of uh, children. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt that was a good compromise when I went to the school and I was presented with the typical environment at the time 
I can't remember the term, but it's uh, like flight uh, that he used to run away. Yep. Uh, there's a they used for, yep. you know, uh, with that. So at the time, uh, the cafeteria was humongous because the schools here are, you know, super large. And I felt that he would get lost. Uh, they yeah. had, you know, I think kindergarten or first grade was in a portable. And I'm like, no, there's no way this child is just going to, you know, he, th there was a like a football field next to the portables. Yeah. I knew he would be gone. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that um, made me realize that this was a good uh, compromise, you know, yeah. to having him in a school that smaller uh, people know him everybody knows who he is where he's supposed to be so that helps a lot um the school itself i feel that has been very open to working at least with me i have no complaints um when i go into the uh, iep sessions we are always working together as a team yeah fortunately i hear some of my friends in typical schools that it's always a battle so I am super blessed that, you know, we, we have a team environment, whatever request I make, um, they work with me to, to try to do the best that they can for, for him. Yeah. Um, what are your hopes for the future for Enrique? I do hope he goes to UCF. I don't know that he's going to be an astronaut, but, <laughs> uh, you know, savings plan already uh, ready for him. Um, a lot of, uh, parents ask me, you know, uh, why don't you put your kid in, in a certain school that it's only for kids, uh, especially with Down syndrome. And there's a school uh, locally that does a great job, but there's no diploma. And I don't want to my son. I want him to get a diploma. And later on, we'll figure out why God has him on this earth. And he, we'll figure out what his talents are, what, you know, what skills he is um, able to, to put into, you know, into this world. So I uh, do have hopes that I think he is doing great. Um, so I have a lot of hope that he will continue and he will develop whatever career he was meant to do. Yeah, that's fantastic. So what advice would you give to my new teachers who are just starting out and uh, out into the world of being a teacher? don't get frustrated when they're not getting it. Um, they have, I always tell my husband, I wish science was advanced enough to understand how their brains work. Mm -hmm. These are hard kids. His memory is ridiculous. At times, just right now, he remembered that little robot that he played with, yeah. you know, what, five, six years ago. The yeah. things that he up with sometimes, my husband and I look at each other like, I didn't even remember that. Um, so there's a lot in there that is difficult for them to access. It doesn't mean that it's not there. Mm -hmm. um, tests don't always tell us how good they're doing. Uh, even their responses. Um, mm -hmm. We have to try to ask different ways. Um, he is very visual. I know he said he likes to listen, but no, he is super visual uh -huh. and he's all about hands-on. Yeah. Um, I think you have to stand the, the, you know, how a child learns. Uh, all children learn differently. Um, yeah. I think encouragement. I remember, you know, for therapies, ask me, you know, how do you do it? And I'm like, you know, put five, uh, Cheerios in front of him or, or fishies or whatever it is that, that he likes. Yeah. Um, and I used always use them. And sometimes I know that is looked down upon because we don't want to bribe. I'll right. help tremendously, not only in the learning aspect, but also in the behavior. Sure. Um, because that, no, we're going to do work first, then we're going to do the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so don't give up at you know, just because they don't give you a response uh, or the response that you're looking for doesn't mean that they are, they're not learning. Right. Maybe we have to find a different way to ask the question, or maybe we have to have a different man manipulative, mm -hmm. um, a different way of exposing the material so that, and that's my advice. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop our recording. Um,